Hello guys, Grumpy. Welcome back to another episode of Modded Minecraft here on the Utopia Cube server. Um, I'm over here in the nether. I want to show you my uh, pump. Uh, I've got an, uh, what is it called? Endothermic pump right there. Um, I'm powering it with four redstone engines and it's pumping into this ender tank. Now I usually use tesseracts, but the uh, uh, tesseracts are very hard to make. I can't make them yet, so we're using the new version thermal expansion. So, tesseracts they're a lot more powerful, but they're also more expensive. But anyway, um, the easy program I knew that was gonna happen. As soon as I start recording, somebody's gonna shoot at me. Where's this little guy? Oh, there he's right there. Get a little action going. They're very easy to kill with this bow. <laughs> I'm not very good as well. He just takes me several shots. But anyway, my color is set to orange, orange, white, um, right here. The first two colors are, are un unique to me. So everybody, the first two colors we use to uh, determine which player, like one player might be white, black, another player is black, white, and I'm orange, orange. And then the last color, that's that's whatever I want it to be. So anyway, here's the ender tank. Uh, there's another ender tank set up at my um, quarry. Um, so, I was going to show you that real quick. Let's get out of here. We're going to head back home. I got I got a couple or three projects to work on today, so let's go ahead and get started with that. Maybe drink a little, or eat a little food here. Let me take that off my heart bar so I don't actually press it. The first thing I want to do is whenever it rains, um, I get wet, so I'm going to fix that problem. So how am I going to do that? Well. I am going to use another thing from open box. Uh, you can use, I'm going to use this thing called the magic pencil. And it's going to let me place invisible blocks. Now these invisible blocks will stop the rain. So I'll have like an invisible barrier. So whenever it's raining, it won't come through my sunroof. So let's get a little more um, materials here. There we go, that should be more than enough. So let me go ahead and craft that now. That's going to be the magic pencil. I'll show you the rest. Here's the recipe, by the way, but this is right here, the magic pencil. So I'm making seven of them. So the next thing I'm going to do is make some glasses. you got to have glasses to see them. And that is going to take a magic pencil and a piece of paper. So let's go get some paper. And I believe I got a little... Uh, sugar cane down here somewhere. Uh, da, 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 should be in this chest. And I'm in the process of moving everything over to the uh, big house. And so most of these chests are either empty or I just had, or it's just like stuff I don't need very much. So I'll get it all moved this time. So we, okay. So let's go ahead and make that. There we go. This gives me some glasses. So if I put these glasses on, I'll be able to see these blocks once I place them. So let's come up here and we'll just build a big um, square over the sunroof. So it'll look like a sunroof, but there will physically be a roof there. Oops. So let me place these glasses on. Boy, that's stylish. <laughs> okay. Let me see if I can do this. Oh. It drew it. Well, I hear it anyway, but I don't see it. Oh, you know what I bet it's doing? Um. No, they're there. They're just really hard to see. Wow. Might be more difficult. I, I, can bar I can't even see them while I'm up there. I can barely see them on the ground. All right, let's try this again. So I don't even remember which ones I placed. Them. There they are. Man, those are hard to see. I'll just do the best I can. That's all I can do. Oh, okay. I can't shift. 
Okay, so if you hold down shift and right click, it'll put it into different modes. So you got inverted, blah, blah, blah. And I just need plain block mode. There we go. So I can't hold shift while I do this. Ooh. I just got maybe. They're crazy. I cannot see that. <laughs> um. Well, that's the gist of it. I, I think, I don't know if you can see that. I can barely see it. But anyway, I'm going to do that off camera because that's going to be very difficult and tedious. So let me put these things up. Hmm. I thought that was going to be a real easy project. Apparently not. Okay, let me put this in here. That is a little bit cheating, but I put my Lincoln books up there. So wait till we do that. And that way if I die, they stay on you. Any, anything you put over here stays on you. Uh, I'm not sure if it, oops, that will stay on you. The stuff over here will. Uh, charm keeping, I don't know. Um, actually, I'm gonna just throw, put, throw it in here. I don't know what it does. Nobody says it, like if you die, it keeps some of your stuff on you, but um, I haven't seen it happen yet, so. <laughs> okay, on to the next project. Next project is, um, we're, going to finish automating these two coke ovens down here now i've got four coke ovens now i'm using coke i'm gonna use the coke for um yeah to power these two steam engines to, for my thermal expansion so i need coke for that and the other thing i use it for is a couple of engines at the core i keep calling them engines they're actually called dynamos for thermal expansion there we go and so those are two wooden pipes and they're going to both feed into this void pipe these are liquid pipes by the way well they're called fluid pipes now but uh we'll throw a couple redstone engines down and a lever now we right click this straight this tank is full if i flip the switch now we'll see these uh we'll see them start draining so basically the way this works is uh, I normally leave these off and periodically I'll flip them on. So let's go ahead and get some coal. Um, well, I don't have four full stacks. That'll work. Now by the way, uh, right now I'm using the, like I think, I think I heard my very said, I'm using the majority of this uh, coal, probably at the quarry. Well, I use it for my ovens and all that stuff too. Oh wow, if you feed blocks of coal in there, it makes blocks of coal coke. I didn't know that. I, I put that in there, I knew it took it, but I walked away and I didn't know what it was going to do. So apparently that's what it's going to do. So let me fire this one up. That's good enough. I'll have in a few minutes, I'll have plenty of coal because we're about to go to the quarry. And let me put all that away. Oh, I gotta put my helmet back on. There we go. Okay. Hold on, I wonder. I wonder if I put it on... Uh, turn my particles or something? Or put it on fancy graphics? I don't know. Let me try that real quick. So yeah, I got my glasses on. You know, they might be easier to see too if it was daytime. Yeah, I can, I can barely see them right there. They're, they're too hard to place though like that yeah see like right now in the dark I can't see them I think that's my main deal but yeah I'll worry about that later so anyway we got this done down here I know somebody made a comment before sometimes or occasionally they do say sometimes I sound really calm and the reason being because sometimes I'm recording my girlfriend sleeping so I kind of like kind of trying to be quiet and it comes out as a little monotone and I sound calm it's because I'm trying not to wake her up so <laughs> She's at work right now, so I can actually be louder or as loud as I want within reason. I don't want anybody calling the police on me, but I can be louder if I want. So anyway, that was the, the next project. And so here we go. Let's go ahead. And, yeah, I'll leave that there because I'm going to go back up there and fix that when the sun comes up. Maybe on camera, maybe not. I don't know. Okay. Anyway, here's the chest where I put all my pipes wires and all that kind of stuff in the rubber. Okay, let's see what our next project is. We need a linking book. I need to put on a helmet. 
I'll just put these back up in here. So, by the way, I've, I've used this inventory system now for the last two or three worlds I've played, and I just really enjoy it. Um, very compact, so I can get to any of my stuff really quickly. I can kind of automate it later, like if I even want to use a pot energistics or something, I don't know, or or some kind of automation, I can sort it and feed, feed stuff in from the bottom. But right now, here's my setup right now. This is my basic core processor. It's not very smart. Um, I just started coring. I'm on my, my, I'm actually on my third core. The first core is small, it's like eight by eight. The next one was like maybe 12 by 30. And the, the, la the last one I did, the one I'm doing now, it's like the full 64 by 64 or 62 by 62, however you want to look at it. But anyway, I put ores in here and the hoppers feed it into uh, pulverizer and the pulverizer pulverizes it. And the byproduct right here goes up the top and then some stuff goes in here to the powered or the redstone furnace they changed the name of that for some reason and so all that goes in there now up in here the byproduct it fills up pretty quick so i gotta watch that that's um a bunch of stuff in there i gotta deal with later oh there we go it's raining again so let's see if i can yeah you can see where it's blocking the rain so it is working well, I think it's working. Yeah, it's working. Oh, wow, my roof got hit by lightning. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah, I finished that roof. It's just kind of weird having water in your house. But, uh, anyway, let's head on over to the Underdark. The Underdark is, um, where my quarry set up. Okay, so I want to use the spawn portal. And then from here, I want to use the Underdark portal. Now, let me go ahead and get my bow ready. I should put those in before he gets up. Oh, well. I, I'm going to have to carry some stuff back with me. So, uh, yeah, I should have brought more stuff with me. I was just going to show it off the tree front now, so I'll be okay. I'm going to grab a little stuff on here, but really to get it all, it's like two or three trips, and it's kind of... I don't know if that would make the best recording. Honestly, mo I, I don't know what to record most of the time. Oh, there's a creeper. Now, this place right here kind of sucks. It's set up to... It's set up to where stuff spawns even in full light, so it's just kind of tedious. <laughs> it was very, very dangerous when I... Uh, first... Uh, started on the server. I was doing some branch mining here when I first started. It wasn't very fun. It's like I died a lot here. I barely got him. And so this right here is where it can be dangerous. Here's my quarry right here. It's not too far from the where you come in at. So you want to check me? Make sure there's no mobs around. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, seal this up. That's good. And that's just to keep mobs from coming in here. Because like I say, stuff will spawn down there and walk right towards you. Even though this is all lit up. So it kind of sucks. Anyway, my quarry has been going for a few hours since I've last visited. So this chest should be... Oh, wow. I wasn't expecting that. So... It's just a matter of what I want to grab. I want to grab all the iron. Oh, first of all, I want to do is I brought an empty linking book. I want to go ahead and use that. Stand right here. Didn't want to do that. Okay. There we go. Now I got a linking book to this place. I got to finish programming it later when I get back. Okay. So I was just going to show you the setup here. Here's the uh, mate to that ender tank I showed you earlier, still orange, orange, white. So the lava comes in from the nether, comes into right here, and it's feeding one, two, three, four, five, six magmatic dynamos. Yeah, I caught them, I caught it, caught them engines that time. And then I've got two uh, steam dynamos. Now these things need water, so you can see the water right here it comes from an aqueous accumulator. It feeds these two. This is actually how I got my power originally before I even got power from the nether. So let me go ahead and feed some of this coal in there I just brought over. I'll give each one of them 
a little bit here. There we go. And you can see this thing's going pretty darn fast. And this thing, I'm pretty sure, I believe that all these dynamos, each of them produce four MJ. So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight. That's a grand total of 32 MJ. And let's figure out what we're going to grab. I'm just going to go ahead and grab all the iron. And I will grab some coal. And there we go. We're loaded down. So. But this won't be so bad now because I've got a linking book set to here. So. Um, so let me put one more stack back because I need space to take this book out of my inventory. Out of my adventures tab. So. We want the one for home. There we go. And so I'm going to take. Oh, that's pretty spiffy. I'm going to take the, uh, first of all, I'm going to put that back up. There we go. This one for the Underdark. I need to make a bookshelf for that real quick. Or book stand. So, I already got everything on me. Let's, let me put this uh, ore up first, though. Okay. The iron in there. There we go. It's going to start cooking it up. There we go. And so let me make a book stand for here. Uh, da, da, da. I need a plank and two sticks. Now I've got them on me. But I don't want to put the book down yet because I'm going to go. I think I got to set up the following linking. No, I don't. I'm just going to leave it here. So that'll be good right there. I believe. I'll find out here in a minute. I'll just use it. I, 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 I can't remember what the following does. I think following, like if you use it, yeah, that makes it stay with you. And, and if it wasn't on following, it, it'd land on the ground. So that was one thing. And the other thing is interdimensional. I think that allows it to travel from well, the same dimension or whatever, but I don't know. That's fine. So let's go put some of this coal away. Wow, I still can't believe that. This is like, they, they thought they were pranking me. The uh, eagle built me a giant snowman. It's like, it's Christmas time. He decorated my yard with an awesome giant snowman. It's like, okay. It's like, uh, I don't even know if I'll tear it down after the holidays. So it's pretty cool to me. I don't know. I was like, I felt, I felt all touched and hurt. I'm not touched, but uh, yeah, I guess I was flattered that he he would spend that time building something for me I guess pranking doesn't work on me um, or at least not that kind of prank but anyway let's put that away we'll grab some more of this coke coke and I think that's the only coke ovens I'm ever gonna build and I think that's the extent of the automation on this uh, y'all see me automate if you're a regular view you see me automate coke ovens and uh, I just don't really see the need for it just on this world but. I, I don't know I might, but I just want to try some new stuff, so let's actually head back over there. We're going to try this book real quick. It should be real fast now that I've got this book. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, let's grab some more loot here. We will grab some copper and the tin. Yeah, that's not too, too bad. Uh, I should be... Uh, Ooh, where are you getting lapis? Uh, B, I don't know what's up with that B. I hate some of this stuff. Uh, the bees, I hate. I uh, program with a diamond pipe. I could, but I got some stuff programmed here. Let's see, I'm throwing away gravel, dirt, and those two bees. So I guess that bee's in there. Uh, I'll probably use that bee to program the pipe and put the bee back in there. I'm not sure. Boy, it's dark over there. Okay, let's get out of here. Oh, by the way, I was going to tell you, I died earlier. This hole wasn't here. This hole is what I use. I throw stuff in there when I don't want it, let it do spawns. You throw it in a hole, then you can't pick it back up. So anyway, um, I had to go to the bathroom. So I came in here and sealed it up right here. And when I came back, I was dead. And uh, what happens in the underdark here, um, if you're actually in the darkness, you take hunger damage. And then you get hungry, then you starve. Well, I'd forgotten about that, so uh, since mobs can spawn, pretty much spawn in here like a spider could spawn in there and climb up and come to me or whatever, 
I went in here, sealed it up, and when I came back, I was dead, and all my stuff, even the soulbound stuff, was despawned. So that kind of sucked. Let me go ahead and put something in here. Oh, I know what I can do. I can put this coal in here. Yeah, let's put that in there. And we'll put that in there. There we go. Okay, so now let's get out of here. And up, here we go. That was a pretty good trip. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I I know some a couple people were wondering if I was gonna do Starbound, they asked if I'd play it. Or if I was playing it, I was like, yeah, I played it, but uh, I couldn't record it. My laptop was too slow, so. Um, until I get a new laptop, I'm pretty limited to what I can do. I can play Minecraft and uh, Civilization 5, stuff like that, any turn based game, but I just have a copy frame rate. But anyway, let's put all this stuff in here. There we go, yeah. Let's get rid of these environments gets too, because those seem kind of valuable. <laughs> They seem really valuable, not so much anymore because I got quarries going. But anyway, if you look at the chest here, I've got four of them for just for ingots. Uh, this one's iron, this one's copper, this one's tin because that's what I seem to get the most of. And this one right here is miscellaneous. It's every other type of ore and ingot, so that's what you can see in there. And I'm still in the process of uh, setting this up. It's all time consuming. I fixed the lights too. You notice the, 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 they're working properly again now with the halos there. What I did is um, I actually had the game on uh, fancy graphics instead of fast. And I put them on fast and that fixed it. And it also helped with the frame rate. I didn't realize I had it on fancy because I used to put it on fast when I record because it makes it uh, give me a better frame rate and everything. But anyway, I've got this set up now. I'm pretty much making these hearts for everybody. So I've got the materials to make several of them. Just need to get around doing it, but I was going to throw these down into uh, the chest that spawn. I need to make one here, but it's like uh, it's an endo ender chest, but it's set to white, white, white. That's the generic color for anybody for free stuff. So if you want to give something away, you put it put it in there. Let's go to spawn. There we go. So it's out here. I even make one of these. A lot of people got these at their house. But this is where I was getting my wood and sand to start the game. You can also get ink in there, but I don't use it too much. If you ever need cobblestone, it's like that's triple compressed. That's basically if you take, uh, that's like 729 cobblestone. And, and, uh, I don't know. You compress it. It's kind of like you do turn ingots into blocks. Same thing, but you can turn the compressed blocks into double compressed, the double compressed into the triple compressed. and one stack of that's actually like it says 729 cobblestone so that's pretty cool actually but I don't need any of that but sand all that wood I'll grab a couple stacks of wood because um, I use quite a bit of that I would grabbed it in a while I used to grab like 10 stacks a day when I first started but I pretty much got my house the way I want it to look now but anyway I, I asked him what this long hallway is going to be it looked like it was going to be like a rail station or something but no that's not the case he says it's going to be a long corridor with rooms on either side so it does look pretty cool over here oh let's go check out builders paradise real quick let me check the time yeah we still got a few minutes um what would that say oh builders paradise city of games project being done by echo the builder and grumpy gamer so let's head on over here and uh yeah, we've got a road network set up. Not not a massive road network. And by the way, before I died, I actually had the uh, power suit and I had where you could do semi-creative flying. You could hover where you're just not going up and not going down, but it didn't work real well. But anyway, I lost and I haven't made another set yet. I don't know if I will because it's expensive. It's time consuming. The time consuming worries more than the expensive expensive is like you got machinery you know giving you free stuff so that's not a big issue but anyway this right here is going to be the side of the i'm going to do a movie studio this square right here this square right here is going to be the movie studio and nips and he's working he's going to be working on city hall he's going to build that right here and all these plots they're all unclaimed now we don't know if anybody claim them but uh, echo if you want the plot you just uh 
put your name on the sign and then that's your plot so the plots are 17 by 17 I thought that was kind of way small uh, if you want to do like a house it's gonna be a very small house the yard but you can claim bigger plots but like here's gonna be City Hall and so that that plot's not too bad but I wish I could fly and I'd show it to you but anyway this asphalt here this stuff is pretty cool because it speeds you up so and we've got the white stripes now that does some very good texturing for just vanilla so what is 16 by 16 or 32 by 32 the basic texture pack that's that looks really good that really looks like asphalt but anyway here's some of my building materials let's see if i got anything i can no i don't i got my chisel in there and and some road lines it's all pretty cool i might have showed that in the episode of Vaco, so I may not do so, so good to show you that anymore but anyway, yeah, we still got a lot of decorating here to do. I want to build the cars, put them all along the road, uh, put street lamps in. I was thinking about doing traffic signals, but I was like, yeah, I don't know now, maybe. But I did notice they took the liberty in uh, making all the roads uh, uh, left-sided. So I guess the, that's what happens when you leave the British in charge. When <laughs> when you're sleeping, the British do this to you. Man, all the roads, left-handed roads. So it's just kind of weird. But anyway, yeah, with the movie studio and all this, I want to be doing some, I want to make some short films here. So it's kind of going to be like a small town, you know, it's basically going to be a set for whatever I want to do, you know, like uh, bank robberies or, or whatever, you know, I got, I'll have a movie studio too. I think we're planning on, I think Nimson's planning on making the, the new, new studio. I suggested we put it in the movie, uh, in the movie studio, so he may do that. So it'll be like one room in there just for the for him to do the news out of. Be pretty cool. Anyway, let's head back uh, home. Oh, here's some build materials. Yeah, see, there's like more of the asphalt. No, that's not asphalt. That's concrete. Take gravel, you cook it, that gets you concrete. You use the chisel and concrete to get the asphalt. But uh, he had a bunch in there. He gave it to me, and I already used, used most of it up over there. Anyway yeah you can see it pretty here it's, it's it's coming along believe it or not these roads take a long time even with the builders wand so this little bit that you're seeing here is the several hours worth of work for it for about three of us so anyway um i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this episode up right here this is grumpy appreciate you guys watching we'll see you next time